May I share some of what I've learned as a father and a grandfather to encourage parents and all who are called to lead and serve the youth of this world. Several years ago, I was reading the newspaper when one of my grandsons snuggled up to me. As I read, I delighted to hear his sweet little voice chattering on in the background. Imagine my surprise when a few moments later, he pushed himself between me and the newspaper, taking my face in his hands and pressing his nose up to mine. He asked, Grandpa, are you in there? Mother, father, are you there? Grandpa, grandma, are you there? Being there means understanding the hearts of our youth and connecting with them. Connecting with them means not just conversing with them, but doing things with them too. To truly understand their hearts, we must do more than just be in the same room or attain the same family and church activities. We must plan and take advantage of teaching moments that make a deep and lasting impression upon their minds and hearts. I remember as a young man asking permission to play baseball through dinner time. I said to my mother, just put my meal in the oven. She responded, Robert, I really want you to take a break, come home, be with the family for dinner, and then you can go out and play baseball until dark. She taught all of us that where family meals are concerned, it's not the food, but the family interaction that nourishes the soul. Fathers, mothers, as you drive or walk children to school in their various activities, do you take the time to take the earplugs so that they can hear you and feel of your love? Do you take the time to talk about their hopes and dreams and fears? For our interactions to truly touch their hearts, we have to pay attention to them just as we pay attention to a trusted adult colleague or a close friend. Most important is letting them talk, then asking them questions, and then being willing to listen. Yes, listen, and listen some more. I ask the Lord's blessings to be with the parents and with the youth, that they might be loved, directed, and guided, that we may have eternal families and be together forever in the presence of God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ.